Hello guys, welcome back to the Medicine PYK topic series. The episode 7 which I have chosen is Wells Criteria for Pulmonary Embolism. So the PYK question which came in NEET 2020 uh, goes like that. A 53 year old woman underwent hip replacement surgery. A week after the surgery, the patient developed swelling of the legs associated with pain on palpation. Her heart rate is 70 beats per minute. There is no history of hemoptysis or significant weight loss. There is no previous history of pulmonary embolism. What is the risk of developing pulmonary embolism in the patient based on Wells score? Low, high, moderate cannot comment without the D-dimer values. So this was the question. First, let us quickly see what Wells criteria is all about and what scores is to be calculated so that you can come back to this question and answer. Now the Wells criteria, this is to predict whether the person is most likely to develop pulmonary embolism or not. So there are certain parameters which is included in this criteria and there are seven criteria like clinical signs of DVT gets a score of three diagnosis other than pulmonary embolism is less likely that is diagnosis more likely to be pulmonary embolism that gets a score of three heart rate more than 100 that is tachycardia gets a score of 1.5 immobilization for more than three days or surgery in the last four weeks gets a score of 1.5 is there a past history of DVT or pulmonary embolism again a score of 1.5 and hemoptysis and malignancy each gets a score of 1. So any of the signs and symptoms present are given a score accordingly and then a total score is calculated and then the risk is calculated. So there are two levels of scoring. One is three level score probability, one is two level score probability. Uh, in the three level score probability, once you calculate the score, uh, you get low, moderate and high. So anything less than 2 is low, 2 to 6 is moderate and more than 6 is high risk. And two level score probability where a score of less than four or equal to four is pulmonary embolism unlikely and more than four is pulmonary embolism likely. Now, this is difficult to remember, I know. So I have come up with a mnemonic. So it's mnemonic time. Uh, so the mnemonic here is interesting. Don't die. Tell the team to calculate the criteria. So we all know pulmonary embolism is a dreadful condition and mortality is very high, but we don't want the patient to die. So don't die. And how we can save the patient is if we can calculate the criteria beforehand, we can at least predict the risk. So we need to tell the team to calculate it, the criteria so that you can save the patient. So here don't is DVT symptoms, that is any pain or swelling. Uh, then die is diagnosis, most likely to be pulmonary embolism, which both of them gets a point of three. Then tell is tachycardia, the team where three days of immobilization or surgery in the past 30 days, that is around four weeks. Uh, then two is thromboembolism in the past. DVT or pulmonary embolism that is the past history then calculate is coughing up blood that is hemoptysis and criteria is cancer so I hope now this becomes very simple and you can remember this and apply in the question uh, so the question is a 53 year old woman underwent hip replacement surgery and a week after the surgery the patient developed swelling of the legs associated with pain on palpation her heart rate is 70 beats per minute and there is no history of hemoptysis or significant weight loss there is no previous history of pulmonary embolism. What is the risk of developing pulmonary embolism in the patient based on well score? So first we'll highlight the important points from the clinical question so that we can calculate the score and then come to the answer. So first the women underwent hip replacement surgery. So a surgery in past uh, four weeks. So this patient fulfills that criteria. So it is 1.5. Then swelling of legs associated with pain on palpation. That is signs and symptoms of DVT. So it gets a score of 3. Then heart rate is 70 beats per minute, so it is normal, so there is no score. Then there is no history of hemoptysis or significant weight loss. So again, uh, hemoptysis and cancer doesn't get a score. And then there is no previous history of pulmonary embolism. So again, there is no score. So three things we can get here. One is signs and symptoms of uh, DVT, so score of 3. Hip replacement, that is a surgery in the past four weeks, score of 1.5. And this diagnosis is most likely to be pulmonary embolism so again a score of 3 so a score of 3 plus 3 plus 1.5 that is 7.5 now if we uh, come to the probability scoring this is above 6 so the answer here is high i hope it gets clear you can apply this in the exam if it comes and uh, that mnemonic will help you to remember and the points you can remember as only two parameters have a score of 3 and two parameters have a score of 1 Rest all are 1.5. So I hope this video was useful and you can apply them in the exam. Till then, keep studying, keep revising, keep solving MCQs and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.